What's up guys, Philip at Trade Genius. All right, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin dominance in this video. So we're gonna see how Bitcoin dominance works with the price of Bitcoin and also a great indicator of when to be in your altcoin positions and when might be a good time to get out of those altcoin positions. So we're gonna take a look at all of that in today's video. So let's dive in. Trade Genius. Guys, a real quick plug here. If you guys are interested in getting into the room with us, uh, we have our special still running, 399, 12 months of the room with us. Uh, if you're interested in our indicators, you could get this package here as well, or use our coupon code up here and you get 40% off the software. You can go into select the money maker indicator here and, and use that coupon for 40% off the indicator if you're just interested in that. All right, with that being said, let's dive into the Bitcoin dominance chart. <clears throat> now the, the dominance chart, one thing I want you guys to be aware of is this sharp move up. A lot of times this, when we see these sharp moves in Bitcoin dominance, it can be the start of a prolonged move up in dominance, okay? So dominance isn't the market cap or the price of Bitcoin. Dominance is how much of the crypto market cap is Bitcoin taking up? You know, rule of thumb, if it's above 50%, bad for alts. If it's below 15%, uh, it's better for alts. That's a little rudimentary because there's a lot that can happen between, you know, switching sides. So I wanted to talk about that in a, in a bit. Um, but again, this isn't the price of Bitcoin. In fact, if we turn on the price of Bitcoin here, Okay, so this orange line represents the price of Bitcoin. <clears throat> and as you can see, a lot of times what happens with Bitcoin dominance and the price of Bitcoin, especially in a bear market, is they actually have uh, an inverse relationship. So in other words, when the dominance is coming down, price of Bitcoin can go up opposite of it and vice versa. And we saw that in the bear market. Now, there are some exceptions to that rule. There are moments where they do both go up together like here. But a lot of times what will happen is you see this inverse correlation happening with the price of Bitcoin during a bear market. So a big clue about the uh, bear market possibly ending here is now we have a sharp move up and we also now have this correlation where price is moving up with Bitcoin. So that's an interesting thing to keep tabs on when you're looking at the dominance chart versus the actual price of Bitcoin. See this inverse correlation has now come to an end with this sharp move up. And again, we've seen where we have our sharp moves up, they can be the start of uh, prolonged moves. So that's the price of Bitcoin compared to it. But what we wanna look now at is the price of altcoins. And I'm gonna show you how that can be a, a good temperature gauge for you using our technical indicators down here on you know possibly when to get in or out of your bitcoin swing trades or altcoin swing trades so the the market cap dominance chart the bitcoin dominance chart will always be the opposite of the market cap for the altcoins now, i'm using the others crypto cap this largely captures your altcoins it's going to be exclusive of the large caps so this is more reflective of a you know majority of the people are going to be swing trading the smaller cap alts so this is i think a better representation of how the overall alt market reacts to bitcoin dominance but as you can see it's always going to be an inverted relationship mark uh, bitcoin dominance on the rise means altcoins are dropping in value both usd and in bitcoin terms so what we want to see is, you know, what gives us an indication that we're going to see these turns where Bitcoin dominance is going to turn and go down to tell us that it's a decent time to, to buy alts. Well, what I want to draw your attention to is our main trend line down here. You know, this is telling us what what the trend is doing. So there's you're either overbought, which can indicate that prices are going to turn right overbought would be over this purple area overbought is up here oversold is down here this is tracking the bitcoin dominance chart so it's going to be a little bit opposite well it is going to be opposite of when you would get in so if it's overbought on the dominance you might start looking at buying the altcoin of your choice or swinging into that okay so this purple line here is the basically the altcoin market cap so we come up, we're overbought on the dominance. We start to fall out of that state here. And you notice what happens is the altcoin market cap rises. Okay, so nice big bounce there in altcoins. So when this is line is trending down, that's a good state for altcoins. You can buy the, the dips and that's a good state. When this line starts to turn back up and head back up, that's bad for altcoins. You generally are going to see lower lows on your altcoins. Buying dips are going to be a little more treacherous, and you actually really have to be diligent about your stops. But when you're coming out of these, these 
states where it's overbought on the dominance um, and coming out of that, that's where you can see a lot of your bigger swing trades uh, and, and they happen rather quickly. So you have a couple conditions. You either are gonna have a, where you get overbought, you're gonna top out. And what I like to key in on are these stochastics that cross. Those are a good uh, indicator of pinpointing the actual turn. Um, so you have that condition where it comes up and then rolls over. Or the other one that you have to be careful of is when it comes up, actually doesn't actually roll over. Notice we don't really actually get out of that purple zone and your stochastics actually now are dipping down and ready to cross back up. And so you actually get a state where we call this embedded and your dominance is now in, a, in an uptrend. So if it's a strong uptrend, this stays up here. And then what you look for is it to fall out. So as this comes out of this embedded state, you know, you get an opportunity to get long on the altcoins and they do bounce up for a bit and then uh, kind of drift sideways to down as this starts to trend back up, right? So this line, if it's going up, bad for alts. If it's heading down, good for alts. Okay, that's the simple way to look at it. And then you really want to key in on the overbought, oversold area. So now we're overbought at this point on a strong move up. Now, the thing to keep in mind, we had this big strong move up, which can signify the start of a longer dominant uh, move up. And if that's the case, then alts are gonna probably, may possibly retest the bottom. The thing with the where we're at here is we have, we're running into our weekly 50 period moving average, which we've discussed. And as you can see, previous bear markets come up, usually test that for the first time, pull back and then bust through come up here, test it, pull back, bust through. And that's where we're at here. Now um, we'd be expecting a pull back and then a bust through. But you know, that being said, when it pulls back, you could see this market dominance continue. All right, even though price pulls back, that's gonna not be good for altcoins. So we kind of have to be careful here just because of the structure of this move that we don't see this thing go and then we start running into where we're embedded here we'll keep an eye on this we'll review this chart and see but you got to be careful here with altcoins and you know if you are going to take a stab there's been a lot of nice pullbacks and a lot of um you know entries look decent in fact today we've had a little bit of a bounce but you want to be careful uh, i would not be using real wide stops in this area because this if this does stay embedded uh, altcoins could retrace a lot of the move up from december still uh, and so we'll have to re we'll have to see how that reacts. But as this develops uh, and looks like it might be rolling over, we'll cover that and talk about the alts and possible entries in those at that time. So anyway, that's something I wanted to show you guys how the dominance chart works with both Bitcoin in price and the alts in general in price and how it, using these technical indicators, we can uh, kind of have a better idea of, of more optimal times to go swinging into alts, either a longer term, a, a larger swing, or just smaller time frame swings, depending where we are in the cycle. So hope that helps. If it does, guys, please give us a like and hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Trade genius.